June is National Healthy Homes Month. This year, HUD and the Office of Lead Hazard Control and Healthy Homes will highlight the connection between our homes and our health. Where we live can determine where we work and where our children go to school. But our homes also play a major role in determining how healthy we are. Poor housing conditions can result in unintended injuries, allergies, asthma, lead poisoning, and cancer. That's why HUD works so hard to make sure everyone in this country can access housing that is safe, healthy, and resilient. Housing that is free of hazards like lead and radon. Resilient homes that can withstand extreme weather. Safe spaces where people of all ages and abilities can live with dignity. Under the Biden-Harris administration, our agency is taking historic steps to make American homes safer for all, including investing more than $1 billion to eliminate lead paint hazards, reduce exposures to radon and pollutants that induce allergies and asthma, and control other hazards from public and private housing. We are working with state and local leaders, tribal nations, and public housing authorities to remove health hazards from American homes. We support programs that help older adults age in place gracefully and keep affordable homes accessible. We conduct sound research, combat climate injustice, and provide resources to communities recovering from disaster to ensure no one in this country has to worry about whether the place they call home will cause them harm. This National Healthy Homes Month, HUD is recommitted to connecting home, health, and you, the people of this country, because we know healthy homes interventions save money and save lives. We can face climate change and extreme weather with resolve. And most importantly, we can build a future that is full of opportunity for everyone who calls this country home. Work with us this National Healthy Homes Month and every month to ensure every home in America is healthy and safe. Visit hud.gov slash healthy homes for more information on how to identify home health hazards and how to treat them.